Hi, this is Travis Walker with the Law Offices of Travis R. Walker coming to you uh, answering divorce questions. First one here is the top five mistakes we find uh, in divorces. Uh, first, not responding to the divorce. The divorce is a, a, a court action. Uh, you have 20 days to respond to it. If you don't respond to it within 20 days, you can get defaulted. And default means that the other party gets exactly what they want, what they've asked for in their divorce pleading. So it's very important for you to uh, respond to the, the divorce complaint. There's a number of times we are representing someone uh, in a divorce action and the other side gets defaulted. We're more than happy to get what we can for our clients and do it, do that. Uh, but so the number one mistake oftentimes is just not re even responding, not showing up. That's huge. Um, number two, uh, not taking the financial affidavit seriously. The financial affidavit is a sworn document. That means it's done under oath with a notary. Uh, you can be held in contempt potentially uh, for not uh, filling out the financial affidavit accurately and correctly. So you have to take that financial affidavit uh, uh, seriously. Otherwise, you're putting yourself in a position where you're at the mercy of the court. Uh, you may get your divorce opened back up for failure to uh, show what you have as assets and liabilities. So it's a huge issue uh, to make sure that you're, you're doing that. Number three, not focusing on what you want. Um, you have to focus on what you want in a divorce. Otherwise, uh, the, the, it's gonna drag on longer than, than you want. Um, it's gonna cause all kinds of issues. And you really believe that if you focus on what you want uh, from the beginning, uh, you'll get through the process a lot quicker, a lot cheaper, um, and a lot more efficiently. You know, four, number four, entering into oral agreements with the other side. Uh, there's time and time again, unfortunately, we see where people enter into oral agreements with the other side and then you know there, there's a question that comes up and i said oh well we entered into it well no that's not how that works you know oh she she said oh, i could pay a hundred dollars in child support a month and that's fine no that's not going to work and then you're going to have a problem if uh, she takes you back for arrears or he takes you back for arrears is you're going to have a, a huge issue and so you, you definitely don't want to be entering into or, any oral agreements you want to document anything that you're that you're doing and finally, you know, expecting the judge to read your mind. The judge isn't a mind reader. He's working very, he or she is working very hard uh, to get through their dockets. They have a ton of cases. Um, they're not here to uh, to be a judge, Judy. They're not here to be, uh, you know, your your friend. They're here to to uh, you know, call balls and strikes. See, and as the law says, it should be get through their docket. Um, use the judicial resources that they're given. Um, with as much care as possible. So it's not, uh, it's something that you have to uh, be aware of is the ju judge is not going to be able to read your mind. So this is Travis Walker with the Law Offices of Travis R. Walker um, answering the five biggest mistakes uh, people make uh, when going through a divorce.